welcome to this episode of 10 MBA. This is the uh, pilot episode. We're launching this. And what 10 MBA seeks to achieve is in 10 minutes, we're going to talk about brand awareness. So our whole deal is we want brand awareness to be talked about through the format of one question, one concern, one topic, one idea. And we want that to be answered through the conversation in 10 minutes. But I'm not going to make any promises. What we want is to make this a fun and informative and a really high quality listen for you. So let's get started. What is actually brand awareness? That's the main question, right? Well, for us to understand that, we need to have a conversation about business. And maybe uh, I did not go through business school, and I just want to qualify that real quick. I've been in business for the past seven years. So just to give you context as far as what I have done and who I am and where I am taking this information from. So I love reading, and I want to test whatever I read, whatever it is about leadership management, design, digital marketing, or whatever it is about. I wanted all these um, dogmas to be tested by real life experience. And what better way to do it than be in a digital agency such as CARB. So what we have figured out is that business has shifted so much in a lot of different ways, but primarily who is it centered on now? Back maybe a few years, few years, few years, few years, few years back, it would have been centered on the product, right? You create a great product, people will come to it, people will buy, people will support, and people will endlessly just keep patronizing you, right? But nowadays, there are a ton of soap makers, a ton of toothpaste makers, artisanal coffee, coffee shop coffee, cafe coffee, brew your own coffee. So it's so, 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 so different. In the sense that it is now all centered on the human being, which is your customer. It's a very customer-centric slash relationship-centric world nowadays. And so what that means for us as brands is that we need to be great storytellers because emotion is attained through great stories. I mean, you hit on emotions through great stories. And if you are not a storyteller and all you're trying to do is to uh, push product, then it becomes harder and harder, actually. So the definition of brand awareness is it's simply the real estate that you occupy in a person's mind. One of the main problems is this. It may seem like 100% of businesses pay attention to this, but it's not. They're not paying attention to this. And the journey, uh, most of the time, is product development. It starts with product development, and it stays in product development all throughout, simply because you garner success through a great product and you just stay there or somebody actually buys the business actually takes lift or lifts off but really it is not enough and brand awareness now becomes a concern and and a need right it's no longer something that is enough to carry a business through and forward and so great products do not determine the success of a brand anymore they used to but not anymore. And so we are all challenged now about brand awareness. Look, here's a brand that didn't really take off. I don't know if you remember the Amazon Fire Phone. Fire Phone, good premise, great product created by Jeff Bezos of all people and amazing, amazing features, but somehow it really didn't take off. And there's a good roster of these brands. And look, I'm not saying that the only reason for them not taking off is the uh, brand awareness parameter, but a lot of different things. But truthfully, truthfully, it is one of the drivers that these things don't fly, right? Well, take for example, you have the egg. The egg. And the egg took over social media like crazy. Every, there's, there's merch on the egg. The egg beat Kylie Jenner on Instagram in the span of a few days or in the span of a few weeks, right? So given that brand awareness is indeed like a key thing required for business, a lot of things complicated. Like for example, where do you start? Nowadays, it's not just tri-media or print, um, radio and TV. There's multiple channels of communication. 
plus the advent of the internet, where it, communication happens at the speed of go, 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 now. And right now, right now, right now, that's how it happens. Look, a couple of truths that we need to understand here is that great branding and business success begins at brand awareness. Well, it begins with great product, but essentially creating a great product is a foundational fundamental step, but launching yourself out there, brand awareness is step one. The real question is what would one have to do? Shift your paradigm to today. Today. What is today? What is today? Today is internet. Today is social media. Today is digital marketing. Today is content. Your brand is not just a great product. It has to be a content generating brand. It has to be a digital brand. It has to be a brand that pays attention on brand awareness. Now, brand awareness is in the assumption that you have a clear brand, which is a whole different episode that we're going to deal with. Well, knowing where to start is a big step. Figuring out where to measure yourself is a whole different topic. And like I said, this is the value of this podcast. We want to cover all these things all throughout. And so given that, there's already a lot to figure out. There's another layer of complication. Virus. This whole COVID situation where we're all stuck and everything has stopped. It's almost all only online. So now you have two challenges, brand awareness and the digital version of that. The digital channels that you have to deal with. You think probably, oh, come on, man, we still need to talk about that. Are there still businesses that are traditional and are not online? Yes, yes, and yes. There are several businesses. That, I don't even know. I don't know where to start. What, 50%, 60%? I can't put a figure on that, but I do know, for example, in the Philippines where I am, 99% are SMEs. And I tell you, out of that 99%, a massive bracket of that is not digital. It's not online. They might have Facebook, but they're not digital ready. So they haven't gone through digital transformation. So they're ready to promote digitally, but they're not ready to transact and keep relationships digitally, which is a whole different story, right? All of this makes your challenge double, double. But the truth is, this situation has forced all of us to what? Here are a few things, right? A few notes. Think like a startup again. Meaning to say, let's review. Let's put everything aside and think about what our brand truly is and how we're going to go about brand awareness. Second, we need to put brand awareness in front now and digital and online. Meaning, customer comes first, emotion, storytelling, the brand that they want and need has to be created and spoken about and shared and liked and commented on, you know what I mean, and start where it's comfortable. Look, here's the last tip. Great friend of mine named Keone Chong told me, start where you're comfortable, Tom, drop it in, get a page, build it. Build it, build it, build it, build it. I have a friend who sells bread for a living and the bakeries are closed. Now they're selling bread digitally. So if they can do that through Facebook, you can do the same. There is hope in this whole crisis. And this is me closing up, wrapping up, and telling you that I really enjoyed this episode. I will see you on the next one. Please listen, please like. There is a subscribe button on YouTube right down there. Click that and click the bell so that you will know every time we have a new episode. 10 minutes on brand awareness. Tom Sequoia, Tommy Digital, we out, peace.